He married my sister, now we're living together. We're roommates in we held that one pretty long. That was nice. We've never done that. Good job. Back live. That's that's what will happen. That's the only thing that matters is live potting. God. But, I mean, still listen when, when we Zoom. Yeah, but, like, listen more when we I would say pod. listen better. Also. More in, more intently. Hey, Tim, we're not even roommates. Not even, uh, I almost said, not even friends. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> we're not even friends, but we are brothers. We, we are brothers <laughs> That's actually uh, the accurate relationship with I a brother-in-law. I am slamming a sister that, no, we're not even no, brothers-in-law. Not. God. No, you're not. No, but we are friends. Uh, uh, good pals. Yeah. Some would say great. Back live at we're, we're Woodward, great pals when Woodward we're live. Studios. Yes, Wood the 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 Ward. The Wood. Back no, the, the yeah, the Ward. Back in the Wood, into the woods. Uh, back in um the greatest city on earth, New York I'm back City. In New Tom. York City. I, uh, I mean, whoa! Here. I fucking love this place. Can you believe it? I've been here for twenty four hours again, and uh, and I really, I really. Hey, you love got something on your city. eyelash that's driving me nanners. Bingo. I think it was part of a towel. Uh, no, it looked like sleep. Could be sleep. <coughs> Got a bit of till, a cough. Sorry. Slept till eleven thirty today. Woo, woo, woo. You ever you ever sleep feel like your your hey you got something in your eyebrow that's <laughs> driving me insane? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think it is this fucking towel. What towel? I, this towel. That I'm. St- I'm. St- you ever you ever use like a clearly? Has this ever happened to you? Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> where you use like a newer looking towel and then you you put you take it off your face and you just got. Well, the towel problem here, here's, here's, here's the fucking face. Here's the problem with this towel. It, it never got washed. Oh no! It was yeah. purchased and never washed. Yeah. So it still has all the goo on it's it. It's the guest towel at this at my buddy's house. Because he just bought the yeah. Fuck, Tom's coming over. Yeah, let me get a guest towel. We have towels nice. being delivered uh, tonight because you're sleeping here tomorrow. Whoa! You thought your towel woes were over, <laughs> buddy? They're just beginning. Buckle up, God! I'm gonna be looking like a, a chicken. Yeah, you're walking gonna be out covered in so much shit. You got oh tarred and God. feathered over here <laughs> yeah. in New York City. I was Tim's. It was good. I got tarred and feathered. I I don't, sh- is tarred shower- and feathered? I, I don't offensive? think that's an allowed thing to say. Yeah. Well, it's certainly not an allowed thing to do. I thought you were gonna be like, that's no. illegal as hell. <laughs> it's super frowned upon. <laughs> yeah, we. Didn't I don't think we were supposed to say it either. Uh, well, how about that? You, you look like I got uh, Home Alone when uh, what's his name got. Poofed with, oh, the fe- yeah. with the feathers. Oh, yeah. Marv. Merv? Marv? No, not Marv. It was Harry. Yeah. Remember? Oh. Remember, he walked in, he got all saran yeah, yeah, wrapped, yeah, and, then and then it was poof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got harried. I got harried. All right. Fucking well. bitch. <laughs> 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 oh man, dude! I I've, I've I've love being back in New York. I just saw something on the train though that spooked me. I wonder. Okay, so you've been on a train where uh, a crazy has walked through the sure. You know, like the in between train cars. Sure. Those doors. Never Anytime to those open. doors open, trouble is coming in. Yeah, you're like, oh fuck. It's never like a chill guy that so, just wants a different train car. Here's here's the situation. I'm on the M on the way over here. First time in the M. Oh, that is a slow-moving train. <laughs> it, it took a long time to get over here. The M has um, really fucked me over quite a few times. Yeah. Because sometimes, here's the crazy thing about the M. The M's just like, nah, dude. Now, what if we didn't? What if we just didn't run today? <laughs> One of the stops, we were just there for 20 minutes. No explanation. Yep. And then you finally like dig through the internet, and you find some blog on Reddit about the M, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been down for a week. You can grab a bus, though. <laughs> yeah. How about a bus? Can I interest you in a bus? Bus is like 30 miles away if you want to <laughs> jump on that. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, all of my plans are changing now. <laughs> yeah. That is... I, I uh, so anyway, let me finish this and then we'll get back to the the great transit system of New York. I there was like a nurse guy, like a hot nurse guy. Nurse. A hot nurse. Dudes can be nurses now. We can just say nurse. Yeah, because nurse doesn't really make sense because it's not like you call it a nurse, like a lady nurse. Just trying to have a little fun oh, on a pod. What? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't your know first, that's what we your were doing. Your first first little micro riff, I'm like, no. Just said Merce. No. Just kind of a well known thing <laughs> yeah, that everybody is. says. But Merce. I thought Merce was for a man purse. Is that? I think that's what that is. Well then what the fuck? <laughs> no, Merce is Merce is versatile. Merciful goes can- Merciful <laughs> goes both ways. <laughs> <laughs> it's versatile. It's a uh, versatile ass word, dude. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I think a merce, male nurse, merce, man purse, merce, man purse, merce. I've heard that more. A merce. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't know. I think they both play. All right, we so we, we, so we this, got a nurse. We got this male purse. But I mean, okay, but here's an honest cue. When I say nurse, do you picture a man no, or a woman? No, of course not. There's in, inherent bias there for sure. I picture yeah. a woman. Okay, yeah. 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 So, uh, nurse. <laughs> so, but, well, I said a guy nurse. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. He was a nurse. He was uh, carrying this, a nurse. This guy's walking around <laughs> dressed as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> One of our many transgendered nurses yeah. here in New York City. Yeah, a truce. That sucks. Um, <laughs> I uh, so he's like he's like a hot, he looks like a TikTok nurse. Okay, hot nurse alert. Hot nurse alert. And and he middle of the M walks off our train car into the next through okay. the crazy doors. Okay, sure. But he looks like he has his life together. Then, then it's no longer like, ah, oh, shit, there's a crazy person. It's more like, what did he know about this train What did he car just see? That got him to leave. Right, right, right. So then I'm on like high alert. And you know what? Nothing happened. And I was kind of bummed. But I wanted to go find him and be like, hey, what was hey, what, that? What was that about? Because it's a crazy move. We were on the M, which is an elevated. Yeah. It's kind of spooky. Yeah. And he went between the train cars. You walk up to him, he just has pants full of poop, and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I misread this whole thing. It was you. It wasn't like, anything you, around. This isn't even a nurse's <laughs> outfit. <laughs> it's a Halloween costume. He's like, if you don't give me money right now, I'm going to kill myself. I'm like, like, God uh, damn it. Hey, you, need, you need your blood drawn? I thought you were a TikTok right. nurse. Come on, man. You look hot. What happened? God. Have you ever seen a homeless person that has like a full great head of hair? They're like 6'3 and thin, and we've, you're like, what happened? We've talked about that. Oh, I feel like I see these guys all the time, it's, and I'm like... It's weird. Well, it's drugs, usually, or yeah. mental illness. Yeah, but like, you Hot know... people can be sad, too, dude. Yeah, but like, why? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that you are, but I just don't believe in but the like, reason for I just don't believe it. in it. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that, that kind of spooked me out. I was kind of on high alert. The I feel like I ride. would have followed him. Uh-huh. It just, crossed my mind. Just because, like, hey, you know, people see things that I don't see. And I think this guy's doing better in life than me. I'm just going to I'm just gonna uh, follow his lead Hitch here. my wagon to you. To this merc. Trailer? Hitch no, my... you can hitch your... No, I'm going to hitch I'm gonna hitch my... Self no, it's to your, your wagon. wagon. <laughs> it's got to be your bull. He bowl. had a wagon. <laughs> no, it's your bull. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so nothing happened. So, kind of a story that led to nothing. Kind of a nothing, bad but story, but... That's a good start. I mean, I was... I just... I, it's being back... In, you're in... You're on high alert in New York. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've been in cushy L.A. Well, you don't have to... I've said this before, but you don't have to live in the city in L.A. Like, right. you drive from where you are to where you're going. Well, kind of nobody lives in downtown L.A., right? I've, downtown I've L.A. Been. is like, poo. I'm not even sure. It's, I think it's just a Hollywood backdrop. You're I don't probably think not it's wrong. a real place. It's like the Wiley Coyote tie uh, yeah, yeah. tunnel that you just <laughs> run you right into. You to run through. Yeah, you just, <laughs> just smack your head right on it. Um, yeah, no, no one, like, you don't walk anywhere. Like, it's not, you don't have to live in the city. Like, like New York, your own world is like your house, your car, wherever you go to. Yes. New York, you're in the mix, if baby. You have no choice. You're in it. It's it's your your house that is tiny, and then it's and then the majority of it is just the streets of New, New York? York City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then where you're going doesn't really matter. But Th- you thanks get for calling our apartment down, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dick. You always, you always sneak a little jab in. That don't wasn't you, Tom. about you. You always sneak a little something I'm in there, don't in, you? I, I'm staying in Gramercy. What do you think the place is a mansion? Uh, no, but oh, so it's a who's it a dig on? Me or the other person Nick's, you're staying my with? My best friend, my best friend Nick. I mean, who who are you making fun of here, Tom? Uh, that's true. If I moved to New York, I think I would just get a bigger place. I think I think the move for you would be like Murray Hill and just get like a nice three bed. Just a three bed walk up, maybe the backyard. That's I don't get why people don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because here's the thing. It's like, sure, it's nine grand a month. But how much does your peace of mind count? I would say at least nine. At um, least. And the thing is, for me, it's never been about the money. I have the money, obviously. Clearly, I mean, I yep. did an 1130 six-minute spot at New York Comedy Club last night. And that's, I I don't, that's an money. unpaid spot. That, yeah, because I don't need the money. Well, they tried they to tried give it to you, and you were me. like, well, just reinvest it in the club. Like, put this couple grand back into the club. Just put it back in. It's fine. And it's consider that a little gift from your pal Tom. That's like, what, what we call in again? the biz. It's called paying it forward. <laughs> yeah. I gave them this whole spiel, and then they were like, sir, this is a CVS. <laughs> Hey, for those at home, Tom was in a CVS the entire time. The I whole know. time. And I was trying to check out. The cashier was like, I'm not the cashier. I'm your father. I'm actually your dad. <laughs> I actually raised you from birth. Oh, God. And then you look at him and you're like, wait, this has been a dream the entire time. And then I woke up. God, Jesus. And I had sharded. 
<laughs> and I was Stand-up on the M train. Stand-up comedy is easy, yeah. you guys. Sorry, guys. Pretty easy. I was the male nurse the whole time. I mean, we're obviously comedic geniuses. We kind of are. We figured it out. Tom, I'm just getting over the vid. I kind of hope you don't get sick. You had COVID. I think I did. I tested Neggy, it's but it felt super, posy. It's <laughs> I'm getting a Neggy vibe from this thing, but posy vibes from me. Posy vibes for sure, dude. I didn't feel good at all. Damn, yeah. you Well, and you were like, what have I done since we talked since the last pod? But if you're sick, you, you just time travel. That's all it is. It's Yeah, you don't do anything. I was looking through my notes, and I was like, I was in bed for five days sick yeah so i got some good stuff <laughs> i have a couple of stories i got about a, being some in bed. good things tried to jerk off a few times dinky wasn't allowing it really when you're sick sometimes well i was sick tough. yeah well i was trying to do the thing you ever do the thing where you can't sleep so you'll jerk uh, of course it's kind of like the natural well yeah it's a little it's ambient. a natural melatonin yeah, yeah. it really is yeah. so i was like all right uh, my awesome logic was well what if i don't feel good I'll jerk and I'll feel good. Yeah, that's not. You usually feel worse after you jerk. Right? Yeah. Uh, so I, I mentally got myself there. The old dinkster was like, buddy, just go to bed. Well, because that's your, your body's like, buddy, we're fighting for our life fi- right and now. And you, you're trying to jerk me you're off right now? Trying to spare 30% of my blood for your peen? <laughs> no chance. Damn, I'd have a huge peen. <laughs> I know, I'd give you 30%. 30% of the blood. <laughs> <laughs> I like pass out every time I get a boner. I used to. I I remember this myth when I was in high school. Is like if you're trying to get rid of a boner, you flex a, your other muscles, because then the blood will go to those muscles. I, I, I kind of am I a, am I an idiot or does that logic kind of track? It, it I think it works, but it might work because you're focusing so hard yeah, on. I think it, it's the mental. It, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's probably not actually like the blood's like uh, get out. We gotta it's go like, to the oh. quad. See what I used to do is like when I was trying to get rid of a boner, I just like go run a five k. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what? <laughs> Well, it's like it's oh, just yeah, the same, it's the same logic, logic of like yeah, just yeah. do anything else was, and the boner will go away. I thought you were calling back to something. I was like, did you do that once? <laughs> I'm strapping on my shoes. Yeah. Like, what are you going? I'm like, trying to get rid of this boner. I'm sorry, I've been hard for like an hour. I got an actually rock hard wiener <laughs> right now. Time to run 3.2 miles. But in class, I remember doing that. Like I'd like flex my calf. And then it, you don't have a boner, but you do have a calf cramp. Yeah, yeah. So now you're kind of more annoying. Yeah. You're, now you Middle class. Ah. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> Drawing attention to yourself for worse reasons. Man, high school boners. Did you ever have to do, did you ever jerk off at school? I think so, yeah. You think so? I definitely did. Yeah, I was about to say, let's just, come on. We had a, uh, we're on pod 212, you can come clean. There was a a visiting team locker room in the, down like in the gym that no one ever used. Man, that's kind of diabolical. It was also where I would just go shit. Sure. It was just a great poop spot. Yeah. But I definitely... Spanked a couple out in there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, in high school, you get boners for no reason. Well, here's a cue: if you're a teacher and you catch a kid jerking it, is that kid in trouble, or are you in trouble? Right? (laughs) Like that's something you probably just don't want to touch. I think it's well, clearly, but I think it's a thing (laughs) where you, I think you make eye contact with a student and you're like, buddy, we both know we're we're on the same page. Yeah. I don't want to have seen that. You don't want to have seen me seen in it. Well, how are you gonna actually catch someone? You know, you open a uh, because in high school you're kind of finding little ways to jerk. Oh, yeah, but I never jerked in like not a stall or something. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, you we've all not locked the stall, and then somebody walks in and they turn out to be the CEO of the company you work for. (laughs) (laughs) Well, in that case, the CEO was was on the shitter. No, I thought you walked in on him. I didn't walk in jerking. (laughs) No, no one was jerking off. Right, I was. Oh, I thought you were pooping. No, I was gearing up for a jerk, Tom. <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't told you this? Dude, I think you told the story as you were pooping. No, I was in there getting ready for the jerk <laughs> sesh. I had my little phone all propped up and everything. I had my dinky out and everything, and I just forgot to lock Dude. the door. So the dude just opens it, and I'm just sitting there like dick in hand, like, hello, hey. oopsies, and he oh. sees just graphic porn on my phone. <laughs> And so I'm like, well, it's a huge company. So I was like, I'll probably never see him again. And then we have our big company meeting, and they're like, here comes the new CFO, oh, bingo, God. bango, guy that just saw the old dinkster. Well, I mean, were you soft or were you, were you riled up? I mean, I was all riled up, Tom. <laughs> no, he saw you at full mass. Yeah, it was full terrified when oh, I saw him. Oh, God. He's like, damn, 30% of the blood in your body is in your dinky right now. <laughs> and I got to go give a presentation. I got to 
poop, or maybe he was going to go jerk off. I think he was getting rid of the nervous poops, and then he walked into a nightmare. Maybe he had a pre prezzy jerk queuing Damn, up. Damn, pre prezzy No, you got to keep that energy. That's true. That would be too lethargic. Yeah. yeah. You got to be in he's there. He's up there. He's like, whatever. Yeah. I'm just uh, trying to get the financial statements right. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Um, thanks for, I don't know. Who cares? Thanks for having me. <laughs> that guy, saw that guy's dick earlier. See that today. guy? Uh, eight, eight rows up. Nope, oh, right there. Oh, raise your hand. Start, yeah. Saw Other hand. Guy, I saw the guy's saw dick hand. no less than eight <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> I mean, that one was terrifying. I mean, I was let go shortly after that, but so I didn't have to see him that much more. But you weren't doing that good at the job, right? Oh, I was let go for... That was not the reason I was let go. <laughs> no, they almost kept you around for that. Yeah, they were like, this dude kind of rules. <laughs> Honestly, that's pretty good for morale. It's a good story. <laughs> no, I was let go uh, for several reasons. What? What's one of them? Well, I was very disrespectful to management. Mm. Have you come around on that? Are you better at that now? Working from home, easy cheesy. Oh, because you can play by your own rules a little bit, and then you just have to add, add here, here, and there. And you know what else you have to do? You just like, like. Oh, Slack messages? Yeah. Yeah, you're throwing a little emoji on there. Smiley face. <laughs> Somebody tosses a terrible riff in there. Guess what they get? Crying, laughy like, face. Crying, laughing. I mean, you're dying. You're raffling over here. I mean, it's it's so easy to do yeah. from home. Yeah. Because I'm sitting here going, what do you f- oh, suck so bad? Crying, laughy face. <laughs> yeah, because you're not awesome at hiding your emotions in person. Really not good at it. But Slack, you can you can hide it. Bingo, bango. But I haven't been on Slack in about eight months, and uh, you missing I'm it? staying. Well, I'm. I was taking Jonesing? a nap yesterday at uh, my buddy's house where I'm staying, and he's he was working from home, and I kept hearing that the Slack noise, and I I was like having I was like duh. I'm late for a meeting. Yeah, I was having kinda, like PTSD. Like the Manchurian candidate. Like you just come online and start making uh, sales calls. God, I would love to know that reference. What? I don't know what that is. Manchurian candidate? No, I'm not even sure what word you're saying. <sighs> Manchurian? Manchurian candidate, Tom. Old movie, good movie. I believe it was a book. Okay. Uh, they redid it with my good friend, uh, I believe it was Denzel Washington. Denzel has been, he's just been on a hot streak, and I'm proud of him. I mean, uh, back when we were coming up, he was, I would, wasn't sure if he was going to pan out. And uh, what's his name? Shit. What's his name? His name uh, was in Ray Donovan. He was Ray and Ray Donovan. <laughs> Lizzie, what's that guy's name? Ah, uh, fart. No. Oh, well. Great movie. But anyway, so, it's like, you know, they like it put a little implant in your and brain and he's <laughs> like a soldier and whenever something happens, he like, you oh, know, yeah, it's a really good movie. But you are the the slack noise is your That's trigger. Me. Yes. And then you just go right into sales calls. Yep. That was I, the big. I could have uh, hopped right on a closing call. For sure. Walked right through a demo. Closed Boom. one. Closed one. Tom. For Tom. <laughs> I'll take that. Commission check. Give me that mishy. Give me that mish. Uh, but yeah, so I I I uh, am horrible at masking. Here's my big problem. Uh oh. I've gotten good at uh, keeping my mouth shut. It's the facial expressions. Yeah. Oh, that so I have even way Zoom. less control over. Yeah. I mean, I'll just be going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If if someone is like socially bombing, like with a story, you tune out so fast. I see you. Go about an inch behind your eyes and just live there, because like I'm like, oh, uh, t- they lost him. Oh, Tim's not into that one. Oop, now he's making really mean faces. He, he looks like he's he's coming up with some insults for him. Oh, that's an right audible now. sigh right there, and mm-hmm. nah, and he walked away. And he Great. walked away. Yeah, he purposely finished his drink so he could go get a new one. And then I have the nerve to come up to you 30 minutes later. I'm like, I don't think that guy likes me. That guy's being a dick to me. <laughs> I'm like, eh, probably not because he said, yeah, great story. And Good away. stuff. <laughs> Please, more of that. Thanks for coming up to the convo. Oh, God, dude. New York. I got a, I got a bagel with locks this morning. Damn, I just love dude. this city. What do you I, think about I, these buildings, huh? I get, they're big. Tall. Lots of them. And I'm staying in, in Gramercy, lots which I've never stayed in Manhattan before. And it, if you feel kind of electric. Well, you feel like you're you're like I'm kind of. This is my Sex in the City moment. Oh yes, it's hard not to feel like that because you walk out and you just get swept up. And I'm I'm just going to the coffee shop and back. But it's doesn't even getting a coffee and walking around my doesn't it feel a little cliche? It does. It's like running through the airport. You're like, I, look, I. <laughs> Like I know that this is a trope, but yeah, where are the cameras? But I do need a coffee. Yeah, and I happen to be in Manhattan. And I hope the the guy is like a little bit rude. I hope he's like a perfect New York rude. No one's rude. Uh, the the guy in the deli that I got the bagel and locks was was he, he was a little Kurt. 
Yeah. Well, I ordered something. That I, this has happened to me twice now, but I ordered something that was basically something else on the menu. Uh, and so and he gave so me like the, doing the... You just want the traditional so want on the, everything. No. And I go, yeah, sure. That looks yeah. great. So what, did you order it piece by piece? Yeah. I was like, can I get a bagel with lox but on everything? And uh, can I add capers? And he was like, the traditional is capers, lox, tomato, and, every, and a bagel. And he was like, do you want the traditional? And I was like, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Well, the, the first time I ever did that, I, I did, it happened two times in one order where I said, can I get, do a number three? There's that, that famous place. What is it called? Cats? Cats Deli. Yeah. Cats I was, Delicatessen. There's, there's th- 412 people behind me in line, and I was so nervous going up there. And then I said, can I get like a number five w- but without the onions? And he was like, so number eight. And I was like, yeah, but, but, that, but with the bagel from number five, so on the everything. And he was like, well, that's a 12. But and you're like, hey, and I was like, maybe just, you don't I need already, all these numbers. I already told you what I wanted. You know what I wanted. But also, just, just have it be the sandwich and then customize from there. Yeah, it's, but they, you know, can't, they have 49 sandwiches, which, yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose. Just have a you're number supposed four. to read all of those? Yeah, what? Just have a number four and then customize. Yes. Cats. Yeah. It should be four like base layer options, and then all the accoutrement. Yes. Yeah, it was the most. I try. I like wrote a, it. Was, I had like a sketch about it in our second city review. I think it's in like a. It's in some TV show where that basically that same thing happens. Some. some I think it might be a Seinfeld episode. Uh, oh, it's probably the Soup Nazi. No, it's not Soup Nazi. I've I was seen like, that. You sitting here? You trying to tell me you wrote the Soup Nazi? <laughs> I <time>? wrote it. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you trying to tell me? No, but it's basically we wrote it. We put we put it on. It was a very fun sketch. And then the Second City person was like, "I've seen this on TV several times." And you're Next. like, "Right, yeah, perfect." Yeah, it is a little. If you were gonna write a sketch about New York, a mean deli guy is kind of the most hack thing. And you're like, guys, huddle around. <laughs> yeah, I just went to <laughs> New York City and I came back with some gold. They have trains, homeless people, and delis. <laughs> Everyone gather around. No, a little closer. Back up just one foot. The Keaton from uh, other guys. Just a little, a little bit. That's but a little actually a little. Back boy, up. Keaton. It's just right. Big fan of the Keat. Um, that, yeah, so what else is, so you're in your, you're having your big hat experience now, because usually you're a Brooklyn kid. I've only ever stayed in Brooklyn. It's been fun staying in the hat. I will say, I, I, I had it in my head that if I'm Had in, it in your head? I, I man, had it in my head. There we go. That, uh, <laughs> I, I thought that if you're in Manhattan, you can get anywhere in like eight minutes. Think again, bitch. <laughs> like last night, I, I had to go from the Upper West Side to the Lower East Side for a show. I mean, it took like, like 45 minutes. Yeah. I'm back in L.A., I mean, you might as well. There are parts when, like, you're, if you're, like, on the Upper West Side and you're, like, Upper, Upper, you might as well just never leave. It was far. Yeah. It sucked. I had to take three trains. And I nailed it, though. I did, I did kind of nail See, it. See, now that's big. I ran into New York Comedy Club at 1120, spots at 1130, and I was like, I'm here. And they're like, you got so much time. It's, we we haven't bumped even started you 13 the show. times. Yeah, oh, <laughs> right, right, right. But you can do six instead of five. Thought the manager was sweating. Like, is Tom even going to get here? Yeah, they had no idea who I even was. <laughs> if I didn't show up, they would have been thrilled. They wouldn't have known the difference. <laughs> no, they would have been like, great, we get out of here six minutes six, early. This is fucking great. He was going to run the light anyway. Oh, God. Um, Tom, you got any, what do you got? You got any new bits you're working on? What's, what's your uh, bit situation? I, I've tried to write something about this. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, there's some bad stuff in here. Um, I got a new Biden trumpet that's kind of been cooking, but I can't figure out an end to it. Um, I do think, uh, <laughs> I just wrote down this. I don't know why I got a bunch of plane stuff from, uh, from the, from the travels over here, but you ever notice they always say, sit back, relax and enjoy your flight. It's kind of an O for three situation there. Because you can't sit Physically back. Physically can't sit back. You go back an inch. You can, can't re- you can relax a little bit. Yeah, but you're not like, mm, I'm sn- on a Southwest flight. Yeah, you're not. You're kind of. Here's. I've never done Southwest. Whoa. Never, I, well, I mean, like New, like uh, Chicago, they, it was only out of Midway. I'm an O'Hare kid, born and bred. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to go back on O'Hare. I'm not going to fucking Midway. No, I was strictly Midway. Midtown, yeah. USA. I was a South Wizzy. Dang, yeah. Tom. I was the kid. Uh, but once you move on from Southwest, you can't really go back. It, it's a bad experience. Because mm-hmm. you have to. The boarding experience is so rude. It's was, crazy. Was there a moment in time where Southwest was considered good? Yeah. Because there there's something in my head that well, Southwest have, is good. They have but I only hear that great 
poo. They have great customer service. Oh, that's not enough. <laughs> that's, that's, but they rode on that. And uh, unlimited like flight changes and no cancellation fees. Okay. So that Which part, is good. That part is great. And they still have that. Like if you cancel a flight day of, it's fine. Oh, man. I'm sorry. That burp was straight everything bagel. Rut row. Woo. Well, we got the window open. We got and look, we got the fan blowing that way, so you're good to go. All right, perfect. Right as out of the fucking window. It, I don't mind the taste. It Ugh. was great. <laughs> what? Edit that out. Everything bagel? Ugh. You're, we, we've gone over this, but you're one of these guys. <laughs> uh, you, like you, you pretend to like the smell of your own fart. I love the smell of my No, fart. people just say that. It's a fart. You I like smelling poop, Tom? I don't mind it. That's it your doesn't big smell thing. like poop. Of course it does. It smells like fart. Where do you think it comes from? The poop factory. Yeah, but it's like the it's the steam that they release. It's yeah, a that's gross. It's gross. Whatever. Whatever, dude. If you work in a paper factory long enough, don't you think that eventually you're nostalgic for the smell? No. You don't think so? Absolutely not. <laughs> that was a new theory I was going <laughs> to kick around. <laughs> no. I think, oh, it's, uh, I think it's like your slack noise. I have, yeah. What what is it? It's like tick, tick, boop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you work. <laughs> beep, beep, <boop>. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's like not a beep. It's like a it's like a yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a see you can't do it either. It's like a quick something. I think it's like a double knock. I wonder how they pitched that. Like when they're like, all right, here's the noise we came up with, and they're like, <laughs> well, I bet at the how start do you like it's like the least that? annoying. But anything becomes... An, it's like your alarm clock. You can set your favorite song as your alarm clock. Eventually, you're going to hate it. You're like, I can't listen to any more French Montana. I'm going <laughs> to kill myself. <laughs> Have you had French Montana? No, French alarm? Montana has, has so much real estate in my goddamn head right now because Spotify, I don't know what it's doing, <laughs> but random, just random, random. Random. Uh, just this French Montana song will just start playing. Wait, which song? I have no idea. I've never heard it in my life. Oh, I know one French Montana song. But it's driving me to the point of madness, Tom. (laughs) Because, you know, Lizzie and I have the sleep sounds on at night. It's just some delicious white noise. Yeah. And in the middle of the night, (laughs) guess who's on? French Montana, Tom. (laughs) But don't worry. It's only 3 a.m. That is how does that how is that I fucking? D- up? I, I don't I don't understand. We have tried every, but I think we I think we got it all figured out. I but, might get you guys a sleep machine for housewarming. But we got them on our phones. <laughs> yeah, but you also got French Montana coming. Down but I, I think we solved the issue. But it has been plaguing my existence for like three weeks. Okay, because hey, I thought for sure this is just like a one time thing. One timer. Is this no. like a is this like a U two situation? Remember no. when U two threw it threw it all on the phone. Mm-mm. This is just French maybe Montana French Montana cut a deal with my life. Spotify. And there, he was like, I need to get Tim Smith. Well, I did Google that, and there was some things about French Montana and Spotify, but it didn't really have anything to do with that. It's just driving me crazy, Tom. It's driving me crazy, and I don't even know how to Google the song. I've never listened to it. <laughs> it just I hate French Montana. <laughs> okay, I'm well, beefing yeah. hard with French. So sorry, French. You're fucking you out. lost the roommates. You had a couple of heaters back in the day, but let's call it what it is. Go work at Cat's Delicatessen. <laughs> Get mad at people for ordering a four idiot. without onion. A four without onion. Well, that's obviously an eight, Tom. Boy, I have uh, <laughs> I have the most, the easiest zero of the week. Love just that. fell in my lap. So it's not even a is this a zero. No, this is, yeah. this is my zero. I uh, See, this is very exciting. Flying to Austin. and uh, Te- Texas. It's Texas for you. And um, I get, I get bumped. This happened to me like three times now, and it's the most exciting thing. You get bumped up to Comfort Plus, Bump City. which is like not really that different of an experience. You get a free drink, which is nice. Here's the thing: what they could bump you up four <laughs> rows in coach, <laughs> yeah. and it still feels good. It feels amazing. You're going little old me. Also, I'm getting bumped to a middle seat. I'm getting bumped to a worse seat. Still, but I'll still take it. It's Bump City. So I was like, fine, Bump City, great open mic back in Chicago in the day. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm Bump City. I get moved up to a, to a middle seat. I sit down. So this guy just did everything wrong from the start. It was like, it was like someone was fucking with me. Like he sits down. It's this is a five a.m. flight or six a.m. flight. Immediately opens the window. No pre takeoff. I'm like, oh, oh, this is a bad start. And I'm like, he can't go window. He's looking out, so I'm maybe like, maybe it's just take off. And then he shuts it, and he keeps opening it and shutting it throughout the flight, which is worse than having it just open. Because you got your sweet little eyes closed, but then it hits your eyelids, yeah, yeah. and it's somehow brighter. I'm getting strobe lighted. And you're like, stop, strobe just, lit. You got to pick one. The whole time, yeah. 
Is it? It's like it was eighty percent of the time was just him going. Pip, 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 pip. What's he checking on? We were just making sure we were still in the air. Should have hit him with a good line. But yeah, is the wing still on? Yeah, something like that. How's he? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like I'm and, and and I'm starting to do the thing where I'm like visibly upset, where like I'm turning my head and looking and being like. Ah. <laughs> Which really, you were all doing that all in your own imagination. Yeah, I was like, I glanced out of the <laughs> side. Uh, so he does that. Takes his shoes off. Boom. Oh, Jesus. Right away. Shoes off, and I caught a whiff. Are these... Uh, these are, feet. These, these are sneakers. Sneakers, and they looked like old... They were like mm-hmm. old... Like he mowed the lawn in them a he lot. He walked around. He did some yard work. He picked up shit. He walked to the coffee hey, shop. Hey, he's probably just one of those guys that likes the smell of his own stinky feet. And I get that. I mean, don't Listen, we all but love these the, were stank the disgusting smells Sinatra. that our bodies <laughs> these, produce? These, these, were, these, were <laughs> stank. these were Hooba stank, dude. Uh-uh, that ain't it. It was bad. And so right away, I'm like, I'm literally start writing it down. I'm like, zero. <laughs> right here. Uh, he had socks on, though, right? Yeah, but that's almost... I'm just making sure. Sure, yeah. He I'm had just, socks on. I'm just making sure. But they were looked sweaty. Sure. It was bad. So he does that. Uh, he did watch a video out loud at one point, but I think, but he was getting his... I think he, he didn't realize he had his headphones not synced. Okay, fair. So I was like... Uh, but for a second, I was like, you gotta be fucking... Out of your fucking that, that's when I was like, someone's fucking with me. Um, how old are we talking? Mid-50s. Mm. So now... Gotta know better. So, so, uh, wait, then, oh yeah. So then, so we're in Comfort Plus and I, I've never, I've never ordered a drink in Comfort Plus before. Didn't even know it was complimentary. And the, the lady's coming around taking orders and the guy next to me on the aisle orders a drink and he goes, it's complimentary, right? And she goes, yes. And then now I'm like, well, I gotta kind of, I gotta use that. Wait, so this was not the morning. This was afternoon. Okay, good. This story's cooking. Well, then now I'm like, I'm less mad about the window now, but I'm still mad. Okay, fine. Okay, so I'm like, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna let me get a glass of uh, summertime savvy B. Yeah. So I go, hey, do you have Sauvignon Blanc? And before the the flight attendant answers, guy next to me goes, it's only red or white. You just say red or white. Mm-hmm. This, wait, and, shoes off? Yeah. No. I was like, you can't have your shoes off and be a snob about no. the the drink menu. You just say, you just say red or white. Also, she's gonna tell me that in one second. Also, she probably won't. She'll just go, all right, and hand you a white wine. Yeah. She's it was gonna, like she's Pinot Grigio. Go, it's not like the biggest stretch. And she's also not going to be like, just say red it's or white. red or white, dude. Also, like that is, it's so funny to be condescending about like a less classy way to order a glass of wine. Right, right. <laughs> you know, like he said it as if I said red <laughs> and he was like, you got to specify. But it was the opposite. <laughs> I said Pinot Gris, or I said Sauvignon Blanc, and he goes, it's just red or white. Just say red or white, dude. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Have you even been to France? I act like you've actually been anywhere before. <laughs> Why are your shoes on? <laughs> <laughs> it's Comfort Plus. Get comfy, dude. <laughs> now here's the absolute final straw. Wait, I, I do kind of love that logic if that's the only, only reason he took his shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> comfort Plus. He's like, well, I'm in Comfort Plus. I, I didn't really want to take the shoes I don't off. usually, but if I'm in Comfy? You're supposed to get Comfy because there's nothing else special about these seats. I brought my Comfy shoes <laughs> on, dude. All right, I'm getting Comfy. All right, now where where is the real zero pulls come Pulls like in? a uh, Snuggie out of nowhere. Uh, we land and we get delayed trying to find a gate. So we're sitting and he goes, uh, so do you, you live in Austin or are you just visiting? I'm like, no, I'm just here for work. He goes, nice. Uh, yeah, I was in L.A. for work. I'm like, what do you do? We have a conversation about what he does for work. It's boring. Then he goes, uh, what do you do? And I just made the mistake. I said comedy. Can't do that. I always say software sales. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I literally 100% of the time say software sales. And I said comedy. And he goes, nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. He's like, you ever been to, you know, and starts naming, like, these world-famous clubs. The comedy store is the first one he says. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been there. He's like, yeah, one, t- one time I saw Fluffy Iglesias there. I was like, yeah, nice. And it was great. You he he name dropped Fluff? Fluffy. Yeah. And then, he, uh, and then he goes. Wait, hold on one second. We got to pause real quick. Pause. Man, we're back. We're back. Fluff. Um, so he name drops Big Fluff. So he name drops Fluffy, and then he goes. So he goes. I just admire. I admire what you do in comedy because I feel like you can't say anything anymore. He's this, one of these guys. This is the worst opinion. People love saying that. And if you've ever said that, I just want to say to the listeners: if you ever said that, you're wrong. You can say whatever you like. People don't have to laugh, and people can and, get mad about it. But you, I've never once been stopped from saying something. No, you can. Li- you can say anything. 
People are like, damn, dude, it's just crazy what's happening to comedy, right? I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, I mean, they just, have no examples. Can't say anything anymore. Yeah, I'm like, like, where, where are you pulling that knowledge yeah, from? No, the people that are actually getting canceled are like sexual predators. Yeah, they're like, I mean, yeah. look what happened to Cosby. I'm like, well, he raped <laughs> uh, and drugged women. And it's like, like serial still, rapist. Still, it sucks. Also, he's going to tour again. Yeah, like, he's actually <laughs> doing great. You can't, I, I just hate that. I hate when people give me that feedback because and so i was like all right we can talk about it i was like no you can that's not really true like you can kind of say whatever you want i don't know like here's look i don't have a i don't have an issue with somebody saying that because i think that's just like what's in people's heads so they're like oh comedy this is kind of a thing i know yeah maybe this will be an an entree into a conversation but it's not what bothers me because i did the i have had this kind of recently where i was like actually that's just not true at all and then they're like no, it's your actually this is exactly what happened. That's where I get annoyed. I'm like, well, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, uh, dude. I was, I wanted to lose my shit on this guy. I honestly wanted to just be like, I want, I wish, I wish my friend Tim was here so we could just bully the shit out of Tim you. Tim would be so mean, Cause, dude. Because like, he was just like, it's like who? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you don't listen to roommates anymore. My fucking boy. Um, he goes, he goes, no, nah, I just, I don't know. Like, I watched SNL recently and it's just so woke. And like, I'm back in the day. They used to make fun of every race. And I was like, "Uh uh-oh. And I go, oh, yeah, you know, I mean, some things change. But, like, I think it's all for the better. But you can pretty much say whatever you want. Because you know what I mean? Like, just back, like, even just weekend update, like, they used to just make fun of every race. And And I'm like, oh, so you're just just racist. You just want to, like, comedy has evolved past the color of what your skin is. Three times. Yeah. Three times he brought up race. God, you could just really let Asians have it back (laughs) in the day. Remember those? I was like... Oh, this is stinky behavior. Fucking General Sal cooking. You're like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, whoa, hey. But first of all, don't come after General Sal. Yeah. That a man's a war hero. Treat. Oh, you mean the actual guy? <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's a fun fact. General Sal, not a real guy. I didn't think he was. Not real. Fake as hell. Is that how you say it? Sal? Mm-hmm. Sal? General Sal chicken. Yeah. Boy, Delicious. Boy, do I love it. I mean, can't get enough of it. Well, you don't even order that at Panda. No. You well, they don't broccoli, have a, beef and uh, what's your one? <clears throat> teriyaki chicken because yeah. that teriyaki sauce is really something, Tom. <laughs> I mean, I had to bite the bullet the other day and eat the 295 delivery charge just to get a little panda. What, here? Better believe it. Where it's not walking dist? Nah. Mm, it gotta, probably is. Got a ord. No, it's not. Uh, it might be. No, it's not. <laughs> It was actually really far away because when it got here, you know, and like it's in the styro- styrofoam oh. thing, and if it's too long, yeah. now you got wet chicken. It's wet chicken, and it kind of like uh, con- what's the word I'm looking for? Con- Precipitation conjugates. No, uh, con- conj- uh, congelation. Congelations. You know where it gets a little. Th- the sauce gets a little thick. Mm-hmm. Like, it uh, congeals. Congeals. There, there we, we go. go. We're congealing. Yes. Uh, but yeah. What'd you order? Uh, what, what do you think? Same order. order. Broccoli beef. Broccoli motherfucking beef. No, actually, chip. I um, I believe I went, I went Beijing beef <laughs> off of uh, the wreck from uh, my good friend and blood relative Steve Smith. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's your brother. <laughs> yeah, that's my brother. Yeah. So, <laughs> God, I mean, you won't eat roadside deer, but you will eat Panda Express. I will that a lot. That's true, and that is kind of a, a weird like intersection in my life. Is I will not eat roadkill. No, I will eat uh, cooked and prepared meals, <laughs> and that's just weird to me. And, and that's just a little something I do. And you're just kind of quirky like that. You, you smell live in Brooklyn, your own farts. You're alty. I eat food that has been prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so his last thing to top it off, the zero of the week guy. He so he's clearly we we end up it was a little awkward because I was like yeah no I just don't agree and then I was like and, and I think like do you go to comedy clubs at, at all anymore no and he goes no I haven't been in a long time I go you should go you can see you can see any you can you can say anything you want SNL's not an awesome it's not the best gauge gauge for that yeah it's also on network television of I was gonna say also can't. comedy like of course like. You also can't show like vivid sex scenes on CBS. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you can't do that anywhere. It doesn't mean you can't see that on HBO. Check out or my good is, friend HBO Max. Like, you know, this is for kids watch this. Yeah. Idiot. 
So yeah, sorry they're not making Asian driver jokes on SNL anymore. Just, it was really so weird. He said it three every, times. Every race, he just kept saying every race. You could go at any race, and I go, yeah. Now they just, you know, they don't try to punch down anymore. And he, he was just like, oh yeah, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then he stands up, and he's got a uh, uh, freedom first sure. American flag shirt on, and sure. I was like. There it is. Yeah, the back of it says, "I hate Chinamen." <laughs> yeah. You're like, okay, well, why would we even have this conversation? He, he was a perfect. I mean, I was like, "You're an absolute layup of a zero." For sure, yeah. No one said someone could have walked up and peed on my shoes, and I would have been like, "No." Here's the thing: he would not have said any of that if you were a woman or a black guy. No chance. He thought he had an ally. He was like, "Check this out, hey buddy." <laughs> Don't you remember we could make fun of every race? And he was expecting you just like dollar signs to pop up in your eyeballs. I like, oh, I've, been, I've been sitting oh, on this great Middle Eastern joke dude. that I just can't tell anywhere because I'll get censored. I mean... You can't say anything anymore, dude. Also, I'll have another uh, white wine, please. <laughs> <laughs> See me do it right that time, my best friend, my new best friend. You just pop your shoes off. Yeah, and you're let like, me get Finally. a sniff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy sucks dick. He, um, I imagine he went home to an empty apartment. Yeah, his wife. No, he does have a wife. Yeah, but they've been separated for a few years. Boy, has she left with several of his belongings. You'd better believe it. Yeah. And uh, that's why he's wearing those old rickety shoes. Yeah, they uh, and just loose jeans. Loose jeans, shirt was tucked in. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. you're right, with a belt buckle. Well, people that wear those America shirts always tuck them in. Well, they have respect for the flag. That's fair. They, That's fair. They stand during the anthem and they kneel before the cross. You know, I this, saw one of those shirts recently. I mean, that where you only purchase those in <laughs> gas stations. Yeah, in Texas. And so this is interesting. So he lives in Austin and he was just in L.A. for work. Yeah. This does not seem like a man. I, I know two liberal uh, places. Well, he does like uh, I forget what he does. It's like pipe fitting or something. Oh, okay. Boy, I bet he, I bet he's just loves saying pipe fitting at a crowd show. He's like, just say, make a joke, say make a joke. About, yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah, I bet you love fitting pipe. And he's like, hell yeah, comedy's back. <laughs> I love. Also, uh, say you hate Asians, real quick. <laughs> like, Come on, he's rock hard. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I absolutely hate that. That's poo. Um, let's see. Do I have any other good COVID stories? No, I was just sick and I felt bad. Yeah, that's I know. So I I'm I'm hogging, but also you didn't you weren't alive for the last week. Well, did do you hear my voice at all? I feel like my voice voice is kind of coming back online. It sounds good. It sounds all right. Yeah. Okay, because uh, I had a you bit still kind of feel it. Poo. Well, I still got the cough going. I still got some. Uh, awesome. I'm some, glad we're some goop two feet away here. from each other. Well, Tom, we got a pod. We have to pod. That's one thing. And I even warned you. Oh, we got a pod tomorrow, too, so we can get two live ones out. Love two live pods. Yeah. But you got to have a lot happen to you in the next 24 hours. I know. Hours. I really got to live a life here tonight. <laughs> just, just don't go to bed tonight. Just let the streets of New York take you on an adventure. Dude, we should start a rap group called Two Live Pod. Two Live Pod? What is that? What it, is that like the Two Live Crew? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good, right? We get a second pod going, two live pod. Damn, dude, this is such a good we idea. Do it in the middle of the night in New York. Holy shit. Uh, what's Gramercy like? Is it a swank apartment? Because he was in a bit of a swank situation over there in he Williamsburg. Was. It's nice. It's certainly nice. It's You got to go smaller if you're in the hat. Better believe it. So it's smaller, but it's it feels amazing. I mean, you already said it. You, we walk... You you walk out of there. You got a door guy. Door guy already knows my name. They're so good at it. They're amazing. The door guys in New York are awesome. Yeah. Well, he, I mean, they're like lifelong door guys. He because you got to put. He Nick's had to put me on the list like to get in or whatever. So I walk up and he goes, Tommy. Tommy. And I was like, Whoa! And he's like, Yeah, I guessed. You're here for Nick's. And I was like, Yeah. And he's like, 301. Head on up. I don't know why I'm saying where he lives. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, and then he's like, I leave today to go get a coffee. And he goes, What do you do? What are you up to today, Tommy? And I was like, God, this place rules. He said, here's my little my little thing. I don't want to talk to this guy every time. Yeah, well, my problem, I lived in a door guy building for one summer when I was an intern, and my biggest problem was like, Tommy's coming home drunk a lot. Tommy, Tommy's saying a lot. So, well, like, not even, I just like, I don't like anyone knowing my shame. Right. I don't want to see you. I don't want you to see me walking in with a full pizza at three in the morning. Really, you come say <laughs> that. Then you see him the next day, and he's like, "Had a fun one last night." Yeah. And you're like, hey, I don't need that. Or like one time, I left a. I fell asleep before my food got there, Ooh. and then in the morning, the, the two desk people like made fun of me. 
Yeah. And I was like, I don't need this. It's just like an always, there's always a check on your stupidity. And yeah. Like, I don't need that. It's already had that happen. I already hate myself, and I am bummed that I left this McDonald's down here, and I can't eat it now. See, I feel like that's kind of a, I feel like that's kind of an amateur move from the door person. I feel like they need to know what to bring up, what not. If you come back in tuned up and you're like, you're farting and you just look like a yeah. moron. They don't need to be like, hey, you were a fucking dipshit <laughs> last night. No. But it, but the thing is, you still know. Yeah, no, but doesn't it make it feel so much better if they're just like, morning, Tom. And you're yes. like, maybe I was good. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? true. Maybe I wasn't as maybe bad as I Maybe I wasn't so bad. You were, but they just did a good acting job. But that's... And that, that's the their best job is guy. to make you comfy, right? Yeah. Comfort plus. Makes it, yeah, you got to take, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Red or white. Yeah, they... they yeah. This guy seems like he's on it. I mean, he seems good. I, he was like, what are you going to do today? And I just like looked out into the New York skyline, and I was like, I'm going to live. I'm going to just let like, the wind uh, blow right. me where it blows. He's like, all right, I've heard this before. Yeah, go follow right, your Carrie dreams. Carrie Fisher, idiot. relax. Uh, so let's is it see. Carrie Next, Fisher? Carrie Bradshaw. Carrie Bradshaw. Carrie Fisher is, uh, she's Leia. Uh, Princess Leia. No, Gary Payton. He was uh, actually a, uh, oh, he was a, he was a point guard for the Supersonics. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's who you're thinking of. Payton. Uh, Gary he, uh, <laughs> so is he in a? Um, so he was in. He was in a bit of a swank building last time. Is this? Are we talking new construction? Or is this kind of an no, old, old New York building? It's an old New York building. See, that gets, right off Gramercy oh, Park. So that. I here's my love, new love that. life goal for when I get rich and I live in New York. Right. Live in one of the buildings that faces Gramercy Park. You ever been to Gramercy Park? Come on, Tom. What? <laughs> I'm a fucking New Yorker. I know, but you can't go in. Yeah, I know. Okay, so you know about this? Of course. The keys. Yes. They only give out a certain amount of keys to the buildings that face the park. Yeah. I want to be a part of that so bad. Well, it's the exclusivity. Any of it. I'm looking I'm looking in there and there's some people in there that I'm like, "You don't look rich." Hey. What does your grandpa do? Slide me that key, dog. <laughs> yeah. I love that shit. I want to be a part of that so bad. It's also, kind of my new life's mission. What an unnecessary thing for New York to do. Well, it's probably why it's still so beautiful though. Well, you know, because it is a beauty of a park. I mean, it's Buttes. Yeah, it's Don't, Buttes City. You're never gonna catch me saying it's not Buttes, Tom. <laughs> okay. But you know, Central Park, well known for its Buttes, they let anybody in. Well, it's also 39 square miles. I think it's more than that. Gramercy, I have no idea how big it is. Gramercy's uh, one block. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like you know, people in that neighborhood aren't going in there and pooping in the bushes. <laughs> like Union Square is not that far away, and it's not pretty. It's not ugly. It's kind of ugly. You don't even know what you're talking about. A lot about of poop time. in that park. Yeah, but it's like the good kind. It's good. It's human poop. It's like it turns into soil. Oh, uh, they're just they're uh, recycling. God, I want to go to that park. Yeah, I really want to go. You know what I would like to do is like work really hard, get one of those keys, and then like only skateboard in there. It's everybody <laughs> just, off. Just be an absolute just, but, just menace in the Bluetooth park. Bluetooth speaker on your backpack. Mm, just got French Montana <laughs> on blast. <laughs> And then a little bit of white noise. <laughs> Just ruining everybody's time. Sorry, uh, bitch, I got a key. Sorry, got a key. Oh, you lost the key. I do want that. <laughs> but I, I, here's the thing I also do in New York, and this is like, I want to look in these windows so bad, Yeah. but I also don't want to be the guy that's like ogling a window. Well, because you got to act like you've been there. Got to act like you've been there before. So I want to look into that park and go, ooh, ah, but I also don't want the people inside to see me ooing and eyeing and go, look at that. Poor idiot. I kind of stood there and stared for a just bit with your today. tongue out. <laughs> yeah, oh. sipping iced coffee, just going all over my face. And is shirt. this a thing that you experience? Can you know when you can tell that somebody wants attention? Yeah. Do you have a thing where it's like a visceral thing inside of you where you're like, I'm not giving it to you. Yeah, it's that. It's that Joe. It's the, it's Joe List said it perfectly. That joke where he's like, oh. when someone wants you to tell them, wants to tell you a story, and they're like, boy, I had a crazy night last night. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> You just go neat and walk away. But to me, that's the Gramercy Park people. That is it. They want because they're sitting there reading a book. They haven't read a page. They, that's, they, they don't even know what's in that book. They're on display. They're in a display case. Yeah, I just want to be like, hey, who's the author? And then watch them check the book cover. I'm mm. like, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. You're also, not- I know that you're just babysitting and you don't actually live there, <laughs> idiot. They're like, I can't hear you. You're Sorry. screaming from the other you're, side. You're too far. You're too poor. Too far, I don't. Get, no, why don't you come on in here and tell me to my like, face? Mm, well, okay, you win this time. <laughs> I would. I'll be back in 12 years. <laughs> See your ass in 12. <laughs> I mean, those those have to be spency. Yeah, well, uh, Nick's was saying the average rent, it goes up about one to two grand just to be in one of those buildings. And that doesn't even guarantee. Wait, wait, wait. So, like, let's say you're paying four grand. But you're not. For a block off. Yeah, you are. 
Oh, oh, oh. It goes up to be it's, on that. Uh, if it's the exact same apartment facing there, it's like two grand more. I thought you were saying... <laughs> it's one to two grand? No, no, no. That's one to two. It goes up every year one to two grand. Oh, no, and no, And I no. was like, well, there's just no way. <laughs> That's illegal. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> Thomas. Uh, I'm just making stuff up. No, it's like, it's j- the exact same apartment, maybe even worse, just for the park access is like one to two grand more per month. Sure. But, and it's not even a guarantee that you get a key because no every building... Has it? Yeah, I don't know. Every building has a certain amount of keys that they can give out. So you don't even. What if you get into one of those and they're like, "Yeah, it's going to be like a year." I mean, that that has to be a part of the application. You process. have to know. Yeah, has to be. Yeah. Also, y- your grandfather's grandfather had to have invented the electron. <laughs> invented the electron to get into the, one of these fucking places. Does, yeah. Yes. So it's like you're not. I guess you're not really flinching at one to two grand more. This is gets my dinky so hard about New York. And so there's all this like weird old history money exclusive yeah. shit that it just doesn't exist anywhere else. You could just meet someone and you're like, oh, you own half of uh, Manhattan. Yeah, and you're like, oh. cool. And they're, and they're like, yeah, well, like my great grandfather like uh, settled. He has a pull himself up by the bootstrap story. I don't, but who, I'm still kind of riding. Who has that? Oh, Rory. Oh, yeah, what is it? Where he's like, you you didn't work as hard as my... Oh, shit. You didn't work nearly as hard as my grandfather's dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the entire city of New York. It's just so... You just see all this shit, and you're like, what's going on in there? You just They'll never on. let me in. No. How do you get in there? Famous. You gotta be, we got to become famous. They, even still. That is, that's the one currency they can't really... They, famous touch. people do like that. Right. They like the the fame part. I mean, sorry, rich people like the fame part. Because more times than not, these people are not happy uh, or like <laughs> sorry, <I'm> interesting. <laughs> you know, they're like, um, oh, yeah, they're boring. They're business tycoons, but it doesn't mean they're like a, a roaring good time. No, no, no. They want to be surrounded by good or they're time like, people. yeah, they want to be the good time people. I think we got a chance at being good time people for these people. I mean, hey, look, I got terrible news for you, Tom. I've always been a good time person. Yeah. I just nobody uh, agrees, <laughs> and I just I just can't find the rich people to agree. I just can't. No, no. You rich got person. out on a boat last year. I was boating around That's town. That's progress. That's boat city, bitch. Um, <laughs> I was on. I was boating. Boating felt good. An ounce of wealth really feels nice. We flew like uh, I was. I was with Becky in in Texas, and we flew from Austin to Dallas on this like semi private. Mm-hmm. It's not private. Mm-hmm. It's an airline that anyone can book. It's just a little more expensive, and you don't go through the normal. It's a private airline. I don't really know why that's allowed. What do you mean? Like, how that's allowed. What do you mean? Like, I just bought, I just went online and put it, boop. Is it a thing where it's like you have to know about it? Yeah, if you Google it. But, I mean, like, you have to know to Google. Sure, yeah. I think it's just because it's, like, small. They only fly to, like, six cities. But, like, I didn't have any background check or anything. I guess maybe they're they're tied in there. I, did, I had to put in my I mean, I'm sure they're checking, who, checking out who I you I guess. Are. But then we just pulled right up. They have a private terminal. You walk right on the plane. And it's like a 14-seater. So, and it looks like a private jet. But then everybody else gets on. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's 13 people that I didn't know. Or, you know, 10 people Are that I didn't know. Are you all kind of winking that. at each other? Like, mm-hmm. It's like, let's all just buy into this and pretend we're rich. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like a $200 ticket. It's not crazy. And you're like, look, I'll get out of the way when you want to take your photos. And then you get <laughs> yeah. out of the way when I want to take my photos. Yeah, we all walk off into it. Because it's fun to go down the... The yeah, steps yeah, yeah. And the then tarmac. you're just kind of on the tarmac, and oh, you're yeah. like, well, it looks like I just bought Austin. <laughs> yeah. It's, but it's fun because, you know, they come around, and they're like, you know, the, it's like a nice, it's like high-class booze that they have on there. It's also, it was a 31-minute flight, so they gave us the drinks, and then they're like, we got to collect any alcoholic beverage in three minutes. <laughs> they're like, uh, here's your Coors Light, and you're going to need to chug <laughs> yeah. that. I chugged the Bloody Mary. I was going to say, it does kind of take the class out of it when you're absolutely housing this thing. (laughs) Chugging a Bloody Mary is not like the, it doesn't scream old money. (laughs) It was awesome. But, oh, dude, I'm, (laughs) this is my last flight thing. On my flight here, I'm taking my, my suitcase off the thing, you know, and it's so much pressure. People are trying to get off. And I had to reach back. It was it was one row back. Uh-huh. So I kind of had to do like the heat yeah. and, and really heave it over. Really trust in your shoulder. And this thing, again, yeah, and I got bad shoulders. Really trust. And I got it. a podcast studio in my suitcase. Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> and up my asshole. <laughs> and I wonder why these mics smell a little farty. I'm in a weird mood. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a weird riff. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to go with it. 
So I swing my suitcase like <laughs> over my head. It flies around, connects directly with both of my balls. I mean, I movie quality Jim Carrey like. <laughs> I no, made a noise. I was about to say the noise. I, I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. huh? did you have to like squat, dude? Yeah, God. I had to get off. I mean, I'm I'm the guy to leave now, and there's 40 people behind me, and I'm like, huh, huh. You, you know, you get that kind of like Pukey, you can't really breathe in. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh god, and I'm like rolling my thing up, kind of on, fully over. defeated, dude. It was, and I'm trying also like. I'm finding it very funny, too. It's hilarious. Because I was like, this that was the most comical thing I've ever done. It was a cartoon. That, that's one of those things where if you like, if you wrote that into something, it would be hacky. Oh, you're like, no, you didn't. It would just you didn't be hit yourself too in the balls. Like, slapsticky. It's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, this is an early 2000s movie. We're like, I'm going to hit his balls. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Right in the balls, dude. I love comedy. You can make fun of any race still, too, because it's the early 2000s. God, I wish those balls were Asian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so brutal. <laughs> oh, here's a little something. Speaking of like stuff that just doesn't, it, it, it only happens in real life where it's hacky. Lizzie and I go out to a little den den finally the other night and um, we're having a you know a nice little time sure why Fun not little time you know Lizzie she's not exactly known for her like grace <laughs> no she's never been I would say she's more known for her spunk 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 for sure she's got spunk coming out of the yin yang <laughs> she's Tom, spunk city trying to stay on the Asian theme <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, but you know, she's just not. She was like, so she like does this. And she's like, all right, I'm gonna be classy this whole dinner. And I'm like, hell yeah, let's yeah. do that. She's Grandmaster <clears throat> Spunk. Sorry, that's what I was trying to go. think of that whole time. There we go. Let's call <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, and uh, so I'm like, hell yeah, I love that. So she like goes to scooter chair and just absolutely dominates her <laughs> knee on the, on, you know, on, on the edge like, of the table and or she, the table leg. And she just it goes boom, and she goes oh. <laughs> so that's how we start the class. Like an Adam Sandler. Reaction. I mean, it was like. Oh, it seriously it. was just like <laughs> son of a bitch. Like it, was, it came out Chris so Farley. loud and so naturally. I like uh. we were dying laughing. So we have this dinner. We have a nice time. We're getting up. She takes takes her napkin, throws it on the table, lands right on top <laughs> of the candle. I mean, does Tom, not light on fire. Full fire. No, <laughs> no, dude. Full fire in the rest. I mean, like flames, <laughs> flames. <laughs> yeah. So it's a fire. I'm like, I'm like in tears. You, yeah. I'm laughing so hard because like you can see it's about, it's going to put itself out. Yeah. Um, I have like our, our like pizza box of food. Oh, this is after you ate. We're done with Bill's pay. Huge. We're out. <laughs> Fire on table eight. <laughs> I mean, it's like <laughs> the guy behind us is having a panic attack. But it's like you can just tell. So like we're just kind of standing there laughing. The waiter comes over, just like pushes us out of the way, douses water all <laughs> over it, and he's looking at us like we were gonna be like sorry, and we we're just like thanks a lot, we'll see you, <laughs> and just got the hell out of there. But like starting off the date with the Chris Farley or the Homer Simpson don't, don't. ending it with a full fire, Let, a lighting fire to your table. And this was this was her calling her shot. Oh my god, I'm gonna be classy this whole day. I'm gonna just. Kind of keep it classy. She broke her knee top, kneecap, and <laughs> set the building on fire. Now, was this a napkin? Was this a paper napkin or paper nap? Oh, okay, so that's why it went up quick. Goes up She's quick, goes out nap. quick. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a cloth nap, it wouldn't uh, caught that quickly. And if it did catch, then it's that might burn for a little well, bit. Well, then you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. This is, you know, this is, you paper know, what napkin. I'm talking about. You can't even start a fire with one Bippity of those. Bippity boppity, but yeah. the flames, not gonna lie, kind of huge. We're talking a foot or two. I mean, they were kind of big. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it was kind of hilarious. You're like, sorry, we're just kind of big hibachi people. Sorry, having a good time. You ever seen a blooming you know onion? About a fucking hibachi grow. Love Asians. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Well, that's yeah, uh, that's more on point for you and Liz. She's working on the classiness. I love it. Why? Yeah, no, Why not now? the classiness, the uh, the gracefulness. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuz classiness is a state of mind. And we, brother, we living in that. You're living, you're we, classing it up. We're in New York City, baby. Yeah. You're class clowns. Mm, that doesn't really make class, sense. Class. Axe? Uh no, no, no. Here we go. Head of the class. Here to ear head of the class. Top of the class? Whichever one you want to say. <laughs> You're the class president. Top, top or head. <laughs> Love getting top and head, dude. Oh, there we go. Come on. That's one thing I know about my friend Tim. 
He loves getting some he's, sloppy top. He's rare, but he's a man who loves a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just one of those weird guys. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Love getting the old ding shirts. Okay. Oh God. So hey. that that was pretty eventful. That was like my. Oh, I think I'm feeling a little bit better. Let's oh, and go, then you went back to go, being sick. Let's go get some, and then she lights the place on fire. Yeah. Were <laughs> you? Was this pre sick or post sick? This is uh kind of. Uh, <laughs> You're irresponsible. Oh, uh, post sick then. Yeah, it was post sick. It was post symptoms. You certainly don't have any anymore. No, I'm all symptomatic. Coughing into my face. Tom, I've been turning my head every time. Yeah, you have. I appreciate that. Come on. I would never. Uh, Dude. I thought I had one more thing to share, but we could also wrap and save for tomorrow. This is an hour. Are we at a dang hour? We're at an hour. Boy, now here's something that's going to be very exciting for all of our New York listeners. You checking Instagram? No. I mean,. They're going to love that. You are on it. Wait till they see me check my Twitter. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shit, dude. The young man and I, that's you, you're the young man, uh, we're on the same show in New York City on Thursday. Tonight. Tonight. I was like, that's tomorrow, dude. <laughs> Tonight o'clock. Yeah. Do you know what the venue is called? No idea. Neither do I. I don't Shit. even know what the show is called. Neither do I. Well, find look at our Instagrams. Oh, right, right, right. I was about to say, find a local weed store and then go into the basement <laughs> and then you might find. Yeah, just start yelling out, hey, Tom. T- Tom. Tim, dick and balls. Anybody? Dick and balls for a thousand dollars. Ding, ding, ding. Free hot dog. Uh, are you, is anyone here giving out free hot dogs? It's my good friend Tim and Tom. He used to go by the young man Tom Schnee. Now he's Tommy B. People are like, I'm calling the police. Yeah, <laughs> please. Leave. Uh, but we'll put it on our Instagrams. But hey, come out and see the fellas on a little. When's the last time we've been on a show together? Uh, like a Zanies, random, like a Chicago. random show. That oh yeah, not count. a bar show. Like a, just a yeah. show. I haven't done a bar show with you since. I mean, in three fiscal quarters. I, I would mean, say. it's got to be longer than that. Yeah, just a bar Maybe show. Maybe a full year. I'd say longer than that. No, we did the the TC together one time. Oh no, you just watched me eat my ass. Mm. <laughs> no, were you on the? Mm-mm. No, Mm-mm. I wish you were, boy. I wish you. I wasn't. Yeah, you were just. That was like if someone just had like a live cam into the trenches of Nam. Yeah, and their best friend was in there. But I was like, on and my you were couch. like comfy, cozy on the couch. And I was like, Tom's having Shoes a tough off, time. Red wine in hand. Damn, people really shoot a lot of bullets at my friend. <laughs> yeah. Sucks for him. Mm, I should pack up his stuff for him. Damn. Do love the uh, the Viet Cong, though. Love Asians. Always have. Always. Unlike my friend on the plane in Comfort Plus. Racist. Comfy Plus. Comfy. He doesn't deserve to be in Comfy Plus, dude. Uh, so we'll it's put it on the, on, the, on the grams. Yeah. If you're in New York, come see us tonight. Come uh, on otherwise, out. I'll be in Tampa this weekend. I don't know if anyone's in Tampa. And I'll it's be Florida, back Tampa, in Tampa, Florida. Los Angeles next weekend. I know we have some LA people. I had some people ask me to come to or ask me what show to come to. It's Red Show Blue Show. That's the show to come to every month. Red Show Blue Show. Red Show Blue Show secret lineup. It's hot. We've got people from SNL. I think next week, Friday, February twenty third. It'll be fun. I don't actually know if anyone from SNL. We had people from SNL on the last lineup. Yeah, you said I think pretty quickly. But uh, I think there's one. (laughs) And if there's not, there's going to be a great lineup. Uh, It's. uh, yeah, it's at my house, too, so... Hey, to all of our fans out in New Haven, Connecticut... Yes. Come see Tim Smith. Is this at the Stress Fact? I have no idea. I think it might be the Stress fra- Factory. But Isn't I, that what... I don't believe it is. No, it's Don't Tell Shows. Oh, great. Come see old Uncle Tim July 1st uh, for all of our New Haven fans doing touche. In Connecticut. There's out people there, in Connecticut. Connecticut. We can talk about the Gramercy Park. I know some of you are members there. Have a cousin's friend. That Please, went there oh, once. that's a good plug. <clears throat> what Gramercy Park? If anyone has access to Gramercy Park, or like if you have a cool, get anything. <laughs> if you have like a cool exclusive New York tidbit story, fun fact, speakeasy, something, toss it our way. Honestly, if you have a cool thing like that in any city, we oh, travel a bunch. Only New York. I don't care about anywhere else. No, I. It, we, if you Rest have something in Tallahassee, me, let me know. Ta- I'm like, not going to We Tallahassee. got a little boot scooting boogie you're going to be into. Well, like this guy in Nashville hit me up. He's like, I, I used to run a speakeasy here. Now I just have like 300 bottles of rare whiskey in my garage if you ever come through. And I'm like, guess what, pal? I'm going to be in your garage the next time I'm in Nashville. Yeah, and then your head's not going to leave that garage. No, he seems cool. Yeah, they all do until they're chopping your head off. Do you think all of them seem cool? That's so that people always say like, uh, it's always it's always the nice ones. It's always the, the charmers. Killer. Sometimes it's the bad ones too. 
Well, I feel like the yeah, like what's his name? The Night Stalker in L.A. He was never known for his charm. No, no one was ever like, wow, he seemed so cool. Everyone described him as the literal devil. Yeah, and they're like, damn, I got charmed. I by hate Satan when people say again. that. It's always the it's always the charming ones. No, some of them have not been charming, Mm-mm. and some of the charming ones are just charming. No, so here's the thing: is you expect. Here's what I think it is. Here's my little theory. You yeah. ready for my theory? Is you expect a serial killer to be pure evil. So when they seem borderline normal, they're like, oh, what a charmer. Ah, yes. What it, a it's like when you expect, charmer. It's like when you expect the tomato bisque to be cold, and then when it's room temp, or not the tomato bisque, what's it called again? I mean, we. what is this? Uh, What's, correlation when they, here. When they, do, when they do cold, I'm referencing, I think you should leave. You know the cold tomato shit? I think it's bisque. Tomato bisque is like a soup. Yeah, but it's cold. Bisque? Maybe it's not bisque, but there's a... a Chowder. G- gazpacho. Not the gazpacho. Gazpacho, that's... Uh, <laughs> those the, are Nazis. It's Nazi, Italian it's Nazi Nazis. Um, no, um, no, the, uh, it, it sounds like that. Uh, uh, Gispato. G- g- oh, uh, uh, oh, boy, that was close. Oh. Gispato, an auto. I feel like I'm going to say something <laughs> racist <laughs> yeah, if, I, no. if I keep going down that The that auto line. rolled. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Okay, well, you know what I'm talking about. That's that's it. He goes, he goes, you expect it to be cold. Now, it's when it's room temp, it actually burns your tongue. It's Tim Heidecker. Oh, yeah, God damn leave. it. Yeah, that's, we're going to look that up after. Anyway, we'll sorry, oh. I botched that. No, that's good. We can edit it in. Despecho. No, that's just a Spanish word. Guspacho. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, you guys, come see us if you're in New York. Otherwise, uh, we'll we'll see you next time. We love you. He married my sister. Now we're living together. We're roommates here.